It's the autumnal equinox, bitch. Welcome to Fair Friend Tea Party. <laughs> hey, y'all. Is that a good opening? It is if it's the autumnal equinox. I believe it was yesterday, but they won't know that we didn't record yesterday. Oh, yeah. Well, we should probably reference the day that it will be when people are actually here. Well, I mean, then it's too late. Welcome to Halloween. It's the winter solstice. <laughs> it's 2015. <laughs> Can I get your opinion on something? Hold on, I'm I'm calling from my car phone. Let me pull over. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna want to turn off your car radio don't as call well. In. Don't, don't call I'm gonna turn it up so you can hear me. I'm right out. Um, I'm actually right outside the station. Is that okay? Oh, is that you out there? Yeah, just come on in. Why don't you just come on in? Am I on the air? You're you're on the air. Hello. Hey, can I um can I get you your opinion on this? I met, imagine I met the Academy Awards, right? And I'm wearing like you know I look really good. I'm wearing a, a nicely cut tux. Yeah. Got my hair done up nice. Well, Got a real not gonna let you in if you're not. Classy, you know, classy dame by my How side. Mm-hmm. You know, in a sexy dress, but not too revealing. You know. Yeah. And so imagine we're sitting up near the front, say like third row, right in the center. Mm-hmm. And you know, the camera occasionally will pan back and forth on the audience. So one time as it does that, like I reach into my breast pocket and I pull out uh, an ear of corn. And I'm just eating the corn, like you eat corn on the cob, you know, side to side. Like a typewriter. Yeah, as the camera pans across the audience. I think that's a really good idea. Okay, but here's my question. Do you think corn on the cob is the funniest possible food to be eating in that situation? Because I thought about it for a while, and I can't think of anything funnier. I think it it depends on what kind of uh, corn holders you're you're using. Mm. You know, like if they're they're giant, like, hot dog corn holders or something like that? I was just imagining holding it with my bare hands. Oh, no, no, it's much... Why would you you pass up an opportunity like that? As long as it has a lot of butter <laughs> dripping from it, like an awkwardly, like yeah. huge amount of butter like maybe, dripping from your hands. Maybe even like, you, like a pad of butter that's starting to slip off. Chris, what let, about, me, let me ask you this. Or if what the, about, uh, are you the corn holders are you shaped like miniature Oscars? Huh? No, I'm not. I'm definitely not wearing a bib because I'm wearing a really not fancy even. tuxedo. No, but I, shouldn't I you have be wearing a, like a really cute like lobster bib over it or something? I have a couple other options. I feel like that would add foods uh-huh. you could be eating. Uh-huh. One of those uh-huh. would be a like a very large slice of watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> very, like That's good. you know, like very large, <laughs> like you know, cut a large watermelon. Long.
Um, what about a big platter an, of ribs? Another, another, another would be I, I thought of a, uh, a giant turkey leg, and then I was like, you know, why not an entire turkey? <laughs> you could be like carving it. Well, can we all I agree like it would have to be something that's handheld, messy, and bigger than your head? It has to be very large, yeah. But, but not, well, not but something that's so, it, like, it ludicrous big, because how do you sneak silly. it in? How do you sneak it in if it's like a whole turkey plus the carving knife? Well, but that pad of butter is going to slip right off of that that it's, corn, right? I mean, you don't think it's clearly staged? I think you I think you got to bring the butter I figured I had the separately. corner cob in my breast pocket. No, you have an accomplice <laughs> who brings the butter in. <laughs> yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't okay. put the butter on the cob until you're ready to eat it, obviously. You know what, maybe... Maybe obviously. the classy dame who I'm with has brought the corn in her handbag. Would Christine or in her do cleavage. that? <laughs> yeah, or in her cleavage, yeah. Or, or, oh, what's that? Like, you know where you'd put a knife, like in your... What is that, a garter belt? Oh, yeah. Or like inside a really long boot. Is everyone recording <laughs> now? <laughs> Can you bring a big, like, violin case into the uh, uh, Academy Awards? I don't think so. Something, or yeah, maybe, maybe that, a really I long box an, what of, if you're, like, an, a, a really an, long an gift, a really long gift box that looks like it has roses <laughs> in it. I think you can bring a violin case in if you are a violinist. What about an old fash, an old timey machine gun case? <laughs> <laughs> but then it just had corn in With it. With the weird isn't, big isn't that just a violin case? <laughs> oh, John, you're so naive. You're listening to Bear Friend Tea Party, the world's only podcast. Good evening. Hey there. Chris Winter is joined tonight by me, Jeremy, Jeremy Mullis, and Jonathan, Jonathan no. Gibson. Are you lonely tonight? Let us join you. Let Bear Friend Tea Party keep you company. We'll treat you right. We've been waiting for so long to slip inside your ears. Yeah, down your ear canal. Slither our way through your eardrum to the hammering stirrup of your middle ear and all the way into the vibrating viscous fluid of your cochlea. You know we'll treat your cochlea right. You know. There ain't nowhere else we want to be. Ain't no one's ears we'd rather be inside of than yours. You're on the air, chatting with me. Hello, am I on the air? So turn your radio down. Am I on turn the air? Turn your earphones up. It's turn your like lights radio. down low. All I hear is my own Turn your stereo With a delay. Segment one! Turn your feet off. Yeah. Music! <laughs> <laughs> John, All right. uh, segment one is you. It's currently down as What's Up With Science. Uh, is it? Though it has also been Dabney Coleman versus Ed Begley Jr., and oh, the people of the state of New York versus Ed Begley Jr. Well, let's make it science because I forgot to look up who Ed Begley Jr. Does is. Does no one here know who Ed Begley Jr. <laughs> is? Hey, He's hey, a... you're the one that you're the one that didn't know who Dabney Coleman was a few podcasts. He, he didn't know who he was like 20 minutes ago. I still don't remember. Ed Begley Jr. is a B-list uh, character actor. He's in shows and stuff. Are you sure you're not thinking of Stephen Tobolowsky? I'm definitely not thinking of Stephen Tobolowsky. If I was thinking of Stephen Tobolowski, 
you would know it. That's true, actually. My uh, my left hand kind of twitches whenever John thinks of Stephen <laughs> Tobolowski. They have a trick knee that does. So same. what's up with science? <laughs> It's Rupert Holmes of uh, Segment Osborne, two. Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so my segment is, uh, can somebody please explain David Bowie to me? See, the way I see it is there, there are several inherent problems with that question. <laughs> Before we get I mean, to the continue, problems with please. the question, can we get to my numerous procedural issues? There Absolutely. Are, let's it, let's start with the procedural. There are a lot of different issues. David Bowies. Oh, are there? Go on. And I don't mean in the sense that David Bowie can battle his clones. I mean that he's been through a lot of different permutations. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go I, on. I, yeah, I think that is so part of my confusion. David Bowie would. I mean, it's like explaining. I don't know. Well, a telephone. Can you give me... Because it's I mean, like, was one thing, and then it was another, and now it's another. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't, well, I don't really like David Bowie. I'm just saying it's like, clearly no, he's done a lot of I different mean, things. I mean, I think, I think that's, that's something that, for me, is always particularly troublesome, is I feel like... Do I like David Bowie? Yeah. I don't know. I don't like listening to his music. Uh-huh. Okay, let me, let me ask something more specific. Like... David Bowie does this thing, like, he does this whole thing where he's singing about being in space and stuff. Being what? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking being about? Snakes. Yeah, that, that's Being in space. space. Like, he went through that whole thing. Well, like, Wasn't was that, like, that... one song? Yeah, no, one album. And was, again, that's that like, album. that's like saying, like, could have been isn't, the te- isn't the telephone that thing with the huge bells? Okay, but, the, okay, like, well, this is, no, but I'm asking a specific I'm question not here. Really like, so was that... The telephone comparison. Was I don't know. so like <laughs> just cut it out. He had that he did I mean, that like edited thing out thing where he was like Ziggy Stardust, right? With and he's like a spaceman and or something. And the first Christmas on Mars or something. Yeah. Okay. So like, was that ironic? Was he being ironic, or or was he sincere? Can't, can't it be ironic and sincere? Bullseye. Can it be ironic and sincere? Technically. Have you ever listened to any of our songs? No. <laughs> no, I never do. <laughs> Too shame. Songs are for recording. They're not for listening to. Let me ask you this. Let me ask, okay, let me ask you this. Let me let me take another tack. Okay. And maybe so, it, it's sounding to me like none of you can really explain David <laughs> Bowie to me, though Danny has done a better job, <laughs> despite his very clunky metaphor. Um, no, but you don't have any problem using a telephone. So okay, I don't think I know no, that's true. I don't have, I don't have do. any. I, I, in fact, I feel it, mis- it, mystified well, no, about but, it myself. So let me. Okay, let me ask you this: Why is it? Why does David Bowie have more? Why do we respect David Bowie more than we do, say, Elton John? Do we? I think people do. I think David Bowie has a certain kind of hipster cred, you know. <laughs> no, you're you're absolutely right, and I think I think yeah. there are several things that there are several things at play. Um, I think he's probably more attractive, like physically. Mm. Mm. I, I think he's, he's. But okay, let's. I mean, let's unpack that first point because this is a great a great place to tell the one and only thing about David Bowie I know. Mm. Mm. This is the what I learned in college from some friends of mine who were David Bowie fans. Apparently, they were on the, the you know they're members of the David Bowie like official fan message board. Oh, <laughs> and a very exclusive message board. Well, I don't know, but apparently, like in the vernacular of that community, they had a specific name for David Bowie's crotch. <laughs> what was the name? It was just called the area. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if that's true that's or not. That's pretty good. Because I, I don't think my friends were actually on that board. I think they probably heard it, you know, eighth hand. See but if I were I them. That was, that's enough to make me like not dislike David Bowie. I would have. Well, ca- I would have called I, it no. Area Fifty One. Because that fits in with his. <laughs> that space, would have been better. You know? Yeah, but there's so much more to David Bowie than just his spa- his Ziggy Stardust period, is right? Is there? Yeah. No, there is. Well, I guess that's kind he, of my question. Yeah, no, here's and the thing. And what's he, up he's, with... 
He's he's. I think he's a good songwriter. Yeah. You know? See yeah, now you know, that I'm not sure about that. Uh, that what, that like, we what could be heroes song. He I could listen to that I once or twice. That. I think after that I get I like tired Let's of it. Dance. Let's da- oh, Let's Dance is a good song actually. Yeah. Well, Did he write the song from Labyrinth? That that's is. the other thing is 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 Labyrinth. I think Labyrinth. I mean, Elton John wasn't in Labyrinth, and that to our generation that makes all the difference. It's it's a it's a good point. I mean, he's not, but he's. You know, will David Bowie go down as in history as one of the great songwriters? Probably not. No, probably I think he's not. a very competent writer of pop songs. You're right. It's more about. It, it, it's but you know, I think you. But you, again, and the reason I brought up Elton John is I think you could say the same thing about Elton John. I don't it's kind know. of a cheese ball who, like, if if we're fair and we overlook the fact that he sucks balls, <laughs> we we should admit. You know that he's a pretty competent songwriter. Can you, you know, name, I could say this. I you, could would, say. Can you name a single I, bearable Elton John song? I didn't say they were bearable, <laughs> but they're infectious. And I'm saying you could. I mean, honestly, it's hard to name a single bearable David Bowie song except for let's like let's dance. No, no, let's. You dance could say the good. same thing about. You I'm could afraid say of Americans. Of, uh, I can like, take a okay. leap. I think but that like, we, could, we like, could be heroes song is pretty. It's bearable. I don't know that song. It's the one. It's I, like it's. I I could be something. You. You know could. who's. You know who's. Nothing. Rebel. Who's, Rebel. You know who who's like really pretty great at writing songs is Banana Rama, but they get no respect because their songs are dumb. But they're very competent, like at making songs. I don't know how with you I am. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm on Banana Rama. The way this discussion is going, it seems like you're kind of saying, Jeremy, that the quality of the song is unimportant as long as it was competently written. No, I mean, I guess I just feel like I feel like it there's. Doesn't make any sense though. No, I feel like there's a. Uh, I just, I just, I just, I don't quite understand. I feel like I'm missing something with regards to David Bowie. No, you're not. You're not. You get the whole thing. It's just that it's some, some are more enchanted by it than others. And it, mm. I think it has to hit you early in life. Yeah, maybe you're right. Did you see the, uh, he, he did it, he had a music video Is this video the Mick recently. Jagger? What? With Mick Jagger? No, there's one oh. he did recently where, like, with Tilda Swinton, where Tilda Swinton plays David Bowie in the video. I didn't see, see that. Great. What is yeah, he Yeah, it sounds great. It's act- he plays like some old dude, I think. Tilda Swinton? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, they actually look a lot alike. All right. It's probably where the casting uh, agency comes from. Yeah. All right, uh, that's fine. I, I feel like we have a lot of unanswered questions there, but I guess I've aired my... <laughs> I, I think there was basically one unanswered question. Well, what's can someone David please Bowie explain David right. Bowie to me? Yeah. And I told I, you, there are many intrinsic problems to that. The, the answer to the question was no. <laughs> I guess I mean, some things, are, some things cannot... So there are some things that science cannot explain. Some things man that, was a, not meant to know. It's a book that can't be read. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Part Segment two. three. Wait, is it three. three already? Yeah, John's was what's up with science. It was just him saying what's up with science. Segment three. Wait, I gotta uh, go plug in so my computer. Hold on. Finding an extension cord. Finding an extension Sir, could you please turn your radio down? Oh, damn it. Is it possible to lose it? 
Segment three is you, Danny. <laughs> Segment three is who here has been to the moon? Anybody else want to try it? Segment three, uh, who here has been to the moon? Segment three. Segment three, if you are still listening, you are a dweeb. Yeah, it's, it's, sometimes it's better to just, like, not say anything What is segment three? Can you announce, somebody announce, announce segment three? It could go one of two ways. Okay. So can we bring it down? I'll let just let, I'll just let this naturally play out. Segment three. All right, so thanks for coming to segment three. Um, I was just wondering, this is pretty basic, but uh, I've been on my mind. Um, who here's been to the moon? Uh, I have not. N um, no, no, I haven't. Uh, no, 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 no. No, what, no. do you mean, you mean like the moon? No, I haven't been to the moon either. Or, the, or yeah, are we moon. talking about the? Are we? 
talking about the Earth? I mean, I've been to Titan. Come on, but uh, oh, you've been to Saturn. Well, who hasn't? No Titan. What about what about Titan. Europa? Where are you? Oh. Yeah, I one time I just popped through Saturn, which you can do because it is a gas. <laughs> Doesn't it have a core or something? He didn't say he yeah, popped okay, through the center. You can't go through the you know, core. He, he did say pop. He didn't say the center, though. He could have gone through, I th- you know. I thought Mr. It, Pedantic over here. I thought it was a pretty good So that's good it. Show. I mean, if nobody's been to the moon, that's... that's <laughs> well, wait, now, Danny, you, have, you haven't chimed no, in. No, I, I did. Have, well, you, I just have, just have, have you been to the moon? Aldrin right here in my closet. <laughs> right, let me... Got him on speed dial. Oh, really? That would be Isn't he fun. dead? Is he dead? Is he? He just did that music video. I don't think he's dead yet. Yeah, yeah, I think he... I, yeah. What did we bring him back from the moon? I you thought guys, we left him there to die. You guys you're thinking of the, you're thinking of the flag? Huh? You mean with Snoop Dogg? Uh, possibly. They sent Snoop Dogg to the moon. Has Buzz, Buzz Aldrin no, 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 did a, no, it's, it's a music video experience? with Snoop Dogg. No, Snoop Dogg. Rocketeer. Snoop Dogg was no, the third. Lady M. Trim. <laughs> can you guys even hear Wait, me? But at the time, he was Snoop Dogg. Can I? Can I ask you? Can I ask a a question? A procedural question. Who said Lady and the Tramp and why? <laughs> There's no way of knowing. No way of knowing. It's not really procedural. It wasn't me. I was I was I was talking about Snoop Dogg. No, I just I, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Um Oh, like the scene with the spaghetti? It was a movie that Were had like, dogs in it? it like is, is that what the thinking was? It's very similar to going it to was, the well, it's just a like, dog. You know there were all those. Say. No, uh, somebody said rock. Somebody said the Rocketeer. If I'm not mistaken. That's that's yeah. a movie from the. It's a comic. It's a comic, isn't it? 80s or early 90s. Early 90s. Well, a, yeah, but it's based it's a guy on... with a jetpack. You don't don't expect me to. Oh, it is Snoop Dogg. Yeah. G- wait, Snoop Dogg stars in the Rocketeer. Who said Snoop Dogg? I said I told you Snoop Dogg and Buzz the... Aldrin made a music yeah. video together about it's going Buzz to Aldrin, Mars. AKA Doc Rendezvous. No, he's just yeah. he's, he's only he's Lisa just Cannon. Snoop Dogg now. I thought he was just. No, he's talking no, he's about Buzz Aldrin. Doggy Dogg again. He's like he's Hammer Snoop went back Lion. to somebody MC Hammer. Does I don't somebody think have a YouTube. Lion. No, he was. He is he's, no. No, no. I, Chris, wait, Chris wait. Is, okay, you're everyone, right, be quiet. Chris is wrong. Everyone, be quiet. He is Snoop Lion now. And he's why? Snoop Lion. And why? Yeah, because because he because he got into reggae music, and Rastafarians don't like dogs. Really? Well, yeah. I mean, do you ever hear Bob Marley talking about dogs? No. Buffaloes. Talks about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I think he had a song about cats, maybe. Didn't he have that song like Mr. Mistopheles? No, that, are you was fucking that a Bob kidding Marley me? Song? It was are you thinking of Skimbleshanks, Skimbleshanks the railway Thank cat? You. You're thinking of Bustopher Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Buster for Jones. Now that was a that was a sweet jam. The, the I remember when jam. when we used to like. I remember when we used to get get real high and listen to Buster for Jones. And I would yeah I would try and convince you guys that like Grizabella the glamour cat was gonna be the the one who would journey to the heavy side layer and you guys were like no way. Wait, yeah, I totally didn't see that coming. <laughs> you that? didn't see it coming. You thought... I, I assumed like, it would be what? Mr. Mistopheles. No, I, uh, I thought... <laughs> no, it seemed like Skimble Shanks no, was too the easy. one that everyone I thought it was going to be McCavity. <laughs> yeah, How's it going to be McCavity? Oh, well, I guess he... McCavity did safe. He needed to ascend to heaven on a gigantic junkyard tire. More than anyone. Just, Just like, like my life. <laughs> I, I have trouble seeing it being McCavity. I mean, Mungo Jerry and or Rumpel Teaser, maybe. But I could only be one. The one cat who can now be reborn. That's why I said or. Well, but you can't take Mungo, Mungo Jerry yeah, okay. out and Rumpel Teaser. is like... I don't know. Nobody, nobody think... No, so nobody, nobody suspected Gus the theater <laughs> cat. <laughs> About <laughs> that is probably the most beautiful yeah. song in the world. Oh shit. I mean, yeah, no, he would be. Really? 
a totally a great <laughs> cat to hilariously go to heaven. Oh, is that what the heavy side layer was? Oh, no, I thought that was like they were being yeah. put to sleep. It's like the pound. The dog pound. That would be like a, the, that the, would be a dark turn. The dog pound. Well, like, the okay, whole hold the phone. Can we, this wait, no, can we continue if, if naming on. cats from that musical? Yes, Have okay, okay, a uh, Bombell Urena. I feel, I feel like there's one or two more. Uh, jelly, <laughs> jelly Lorem. Do they... <laughs> Let me ask you this: Do they Jelly have to be cats that had their own song, or just cats that are mentioned at cats one point? Cats that are mentioned at one point or appear. Um, uh, uh, who's who's the one who teaches okay, the? I have, a, I have a I have wait 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 wait, wait, wait. I have a procedural you. question. I have a serious <laughs> procedural question because no, I have a serious procedural question. If we're naming cats, because every cat has three names, <laughs> you <get> to understand. <laughs> Well, obviously, it wouldn't be his jellical name. No, we're talking about well, the name no, that no, obviously. no human research can discover. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're, it's obviously not that, or else we would, we would like... Bill Bailey. Okay, go on, go on. Oh, um... Uh, and Joe. Who's, which is the one where it's like, you know, uh, it, she's an old lady cat. It's like, when the day's hustle and bustle is done, the Gumby cat, cats the old Gumby cat. The Gumby cat, thank you, the old Gumby cat. I never, cat. I forgot about that one. Well, that that's, one, you know. That's Jenny, yeah, that Jenny any Damn, oh. you remember some, some you, you know, it would have been, it would have been, it would have been really funny if the cat that ascended to the heavy side layer had just been some random cat <laughs> that had been like, like if it <laughs> that had been mentioned right, kind of right. in passing. Did you, but wait, it did not, you guys, like did you guys, some, uh, like, did you mention like, oh, Gus I thought you were just, a, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we mentioned oh, Gus. Come on, John. Movie. All right, all right. But like if it was just, just some to be cat clear, from the fucking I'm, I'm, I'm forest, you know? To asparagus. <laughs> now, come on, who wants to deal with that fuss? To pronounce. <laughs> yeah, I would. Right. I would call him just. Can gut. we cut this whole embarrassing? <laughs> this has been the only good part so far. What? I thought the David Bowie part was okay. Oh my god! Do you want to know what's so funny? Unbearable. Do you want to know what's so funny? What? The rum to my. Wait, can we what is lose that noise? the playback? We lose the playback, please. The next. I don't think the that's next me. time you see it. I think it's John. You know what? I John used to. Too. The first time I realized who David Bowie was. Our destiny is to the stars. <laughs> can we lose the playback, please? Is that okay? That was Buzz Aldrin and Snoop. Buzz Aldrin and the Snoop Doggy oh, Dogs. Jesus. Snoop Lion or whatever the. Uh, going. No, I used to. The first time I really looked, I saw a picture of David Bowie. I thought, man, <laughs> he looks like the Rum Tum Tugger. He does look like the Rum Tum Tugger. <laughs> like I'm not joking. Like if you look at the a picture of the Rum Tum Tugger from the v vinyl gatefold of cats which for some reason I have I have cats on vinyl I don't remember let me ask you this it looks like does David it, Bowie does, does your version okay, let me have ask the, you. uh, the ballad of the peaks and the pollicles no cause it's let, the it's, let me the, it's ask you the, this. the American it, version the oh, one released okay, by me, the really useful ask you company this. <laughs> oh that that sucks alright that's like the best let me song ask I think this. Jeremy has a question alright Jeremy you let have the floor let me ask you this if it turned out that David Bowie had, in fact, played Rum Tum Tugger in um, in some kind of like you know traveling performance of Cats. Would you be surprised? No. Yeah, I don't think I, I would, would either. That was would my whole point. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I would be if like, you stole this whole gimmick from uh, from the Rum Tum Tugger. Oh, you think his whole pirate cat period was all stolen <laughs> from Rum Tum Tugger? Pirate? No, you, you're, you're, thinking, you're, you're thinking of Gus. Well, Gus actually, pirate. no, you're thinking of... Uh, uh, McCavity uh, was the closest thing to a pirate. Oh, was that right? Is Growl. that like in, when you actually see it, does Gus becomes the pirate well, Gus cat? Well, he, Gus, he, like he used seemed... to portray Growl Tiger. Yeah, he portrayed Gr oh. Growl Tiger. Oh. Greatest performance. Oh. Who's Rum... 
Yeah. Wait, who's Rum Tum Tugger then? I don't. Even, he's just the some Rum Tum Tugger. No, the Rum Tum Tugger is a, a curious cat. What is he doesn't sing Jer- a few Jeremy. bars. Sing a few Jeremy, bars. Jeremy, he doesn't he doesn't care for a cuddle. Sing a few yeah. bars, please. Someone sing a few bars. Bam, bam, bam. All right, hold on. I got this. The rum tum tug. I can't remember how it goes. <laughs> He's a curious cat. He doesn't care for a cuddle. He's always on the wrong side of every door. Way too many effects. <laughs> And there isn't any need for me to doubt it. Oh, for he will yeah, do yeah, as he do do, and there's no doing anything about wow, wow, how it. Yeah, yeah, he was like that. That, like, that rock. He was the. He was that rockin' one. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was getting him confused with Growl Tiger. Okay, I have a. I have. Let, okay, let me ask you this. What was that? That was that's not that's not Rum Tum Tugger. No, that's you got it, you got it. And who would ever suppose that that was Grizzabella the Glamour Cat? Danny, can I ask, did you have the sheet music to cats like lying around ready to open, or did you already know how to play Grizabella the Glamour Cat? Her name is Jenny. Grizabella? You what? Oh, God, make that stop. Did I know what? Danny, did you, did you, yeah, did you have the sheet music just like sitting around ready to go, or did you just yeah, was, uh, already was, know how to play Grizabella the Glamour Cat? I was hoping you'd bring it up. It's, it's, no. the, it's the first song you learn if you take guitar lessons, isn't it, usually? <laughs> first, no, I, I guess I, I, I've been meaning to turn that into a metal song for several decades. 
I jam I oh. jam on it and white limo. Mission practice. accomplished. Yeah, maybe very good. So, um, segment four. I actually, this is a serious question that I'm going to ask you guys. This is a serious um, podcast. It is a serious podcast. So here, here's the deal, and this is all true. Oh shit! I'm not recording. For real? God. No, no, just kidding. God damn it, man. So my wife's, um, my wife's coworker Ryan, recently moved to Chicago, and. You know, she was all broken up about that, and he was like, "Hey, you know, you should come out and visit." So she she found a cheap flight to Chicago some weekend, and she only realized after the fact, after the fact that she had uh, made reservations to be out of town on our son's tenth birthday. So um, he's real broken up about that, right? Because his mommy is going to be away on his birthday. And so I was trying to think of totally irresponsible, awesome stuff we could do on oh, his birthday oh, that his mom wouldn't oh, approve oh, of oh, when he's about, not around. When she's not there, around. Uh, is there something called go karts? There is something called. Well, no, I had thought about go karts, going go karting. I had also thought about just taking him out into the country and letting him drive a real car. Ooh, what about taking him Truck. out? You know. Because that's a real pickup truck. That Ooh. seems irresponsible. Or like shooting guns out in the country, shooting. Yeah. At, like, okay. We're seeing very eye to eye. Yeah. I, shooting my at list, pumpkins and or beer bottles. My list of stuff that he could do that his mother would not approve of. Well, we were in the. Well, she was in Chicago for his birthday. I was thinking, drive a real car, shoot a gun, and uh, go to a strip club. I don't know that they'd let him into a strip club, him being only 10. Does he have ID? Uh, he has a school ID. Why don't you take him to see a Bonton Soul Accordion Band show? Uh, well, we want it to be somewhat wholesome. No, because if you did that, then you could buy me their new CD and send it to me. <laughs> it's only available at their shows. I don't know Can if they're playing his birthday. I've been asking Oscar Polk to send me one, but it's only... All right. Uh, no, I think something involving guns or... Do you have a hot rod? <laughs> uh, we have a Kia. Yeah, but that would be that would be still be fun to shoot up with a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, setting um, setting stuff on fire. He might enjoy that. He might. Is he, are his legs even long enough to like drive a car? Yeah, I mean he's he's taller than his mother, and she can drive a car. Oh, okay. Here, here's an idea. What if you asked him what he wanted to do, and whatever he says uh, will probably be something that she wouldn't want him to do. Oh, it'd just be some boring thing. But why should he get to choose what we do on his birthday? But it would, but it it would accomplish that, like it would be something that she didn't want him to do. He knows more than anyone what is forbidden f for him to do. He'd just want to yeah. He'd just want to drink diet coke and play Minecraft all day. Well, if you're <laughs> Happy birthday. That is basically true. Yeah. We're taking it I uh, you might not know this. We signed him up for um, comedy lessons. What? We signed him up for a comedy oh. class. Oh, sign him up for, for actually, an open mic at a actually, club. Actually, it's a, it's a basketball class, but I know Danny thinks basketball is funny. <laughs> oh, I th oh, wait. Oh, I think that's funny? Oh, I, I do too. Danny convinced me that it was funny. <laughs> well, there you go then. Wait. I'm sorry. Yeah, he had his first basketball class uh, on Saturday. I thought we were united front. It was pretty funny. You didn't... <sighs> Alright. You hadn't realized how funny basketball is until I pointed it out? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, sh I guess I shouldn't have started that conversation again. I mean, why do you think the Harlem Globetrotters are so funny? <laughs> how, 
I don't know if I want to go down this road again for a fourth time on yeah, this wait, podcast. Chris, were you mostly amused by their, like, weird Jewish owner? Yeah. <laughs> that was mostly what they were See, there's, 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 there's the something ladder. for everybody. The guy takes a ladder out onto the, out onto the court. Can you imagine I mean, a Wait, 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 wait. Don't team? they do that in regulation basketball games? Like in a real basketball game? You well, can use a ladder, right? You know, he's only had the first lesson so far, and they didn't bring the ladder out for that one, but I guess they're probably just doing the basics first. Like, bringing out the ladder is an advanced move. Uh, yeah, so, I mean... It was kind of funny at the basketball class because uh, the teacher, you know, the kids were like eight and nine and ten, and he was using all these obscure references that clearly they would not get. Like there was the thing where they were supposed to protect the basketball, and he was like, okay, Imagine, like, it's the 1980s, and you're in the Chicago Bulls locker room, and you got this basketball from Michael Jordan, and the kids are just looking, like, they don't, they don't, they don't know who the Chicago Bulls of the 1980s, you know? He might have, he could have easily have been like, all right, it's 1877, (laughs) and Rutherford B. Hayes has just been elected, like, it's, it was, it was This podcast got really good when I left. It was classic. It was like when we were in high school, people would be talking about the summer of 69. The what? Yeah. So that summer sucked. That was a to hell of a fair, summer. To be fair. Decent summer. It was pretty sweet <laughs> summer. <laughs> classic summer. It was, it had, had little, nothing on Little monkey. Little monkey. Had nothing on the summer of 97, though, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Wait, where does it? Where do I come in? Where does? Where did the? I don't know. I don't remember. Something about <laughs> Mongo Jerry and <laughs> Rum no, no, no. Teaser <laughs> were an incredible <laughs> pair of cats, but it's not about crowns. Quick change comedians, tightrope walkers, and acrobats. They were an extensive reputation. <laughs> they make their home in Victoria. <laughs> that was merely their center of operation. <laughs> for they were entirely given to Rome. I'm surprised I remember all those words. Yeah, they're is different from what I remembered the words of open wound being. <laughs> When the family assembled for Sunday dinner, <laughs> their minds made up that they wouldn't get dinner. A couple of roasts, potatoes and greens, then a cook would appear from their behind the scenes. I believe it was an Argentine say in a voice that was choking with sorrow, I'm afraid you must wait and have dinner tomorrow. The roast has gone from the oven like that. The family would say it's that horrible Good. cat. Great song. It's that classic. <laughs> so yeah, do we wanna do we wanna I cover any of these are. topics besides the David Bowie one? We, I think we covered all of them. No, we did none of us have been to the moon. Um, yeah. No one's been to the moon. No one can explain what's up with David Bowie. <laughs> so wait, was this was this podcast a failure? No, this is one of the this is gonna go down as one of the great ones. Chris, you're editing this, right? 
Oh, I did the last one. I don't know about this one. It's your turn. It's John's turn. No, it's not. It's John's. It's not turn. John's turn. Can we? Can we? St- could you turn your radio down, please? before he notices that we have muted. <laughs> That's, no, I think he's noticed. <laughs> I thought he would just keep going on for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I think we've actually been through everything, right? John asked what's up with science. I don't think I can unmute him. Nobody, no one could explain who, about David Bowie to you. No one has been to the moon. And I had several whimsical no- notions. I, I just selected present to... Wait, did you change yours to whimsical notions? What were they? Uh, well, I had one about uh, attending the Academy Awards and eating corn on the cob. Yeah, that was like way beforehand. Yeah, I slipped it in as if it weren't a segment because I knew if I announced it as a segment, people would start interrupting me and playing heavy metal guitar. <laughs> See? That was true. Was I don't, how do you unmute Danny? Uh, he has to unmute himself. Danny, you I have to unmute yourself <laughs> if you want to unmute yourself. No, we don't get to hear this, this hot shit you're laying right down now. <laughs> this this would be a really good podcast if we were recording the video. Aren't we? <laughs> should we? So should we do like? Let's do like a let. Okay, My back. Before we close, let's do. Mm-hmm. Let's do a little recap. recap. Let's talk about what went well, what didn't go well, what we could improve in the future about the podcast. All right, all right. All right, Um, and this should just be, like, I want this, this should be an open dialogue, but let's try to not talk over each other too much, unless it's something really funny or unexpected. Like, yeah, that's... that's, uh, (laughs) No... Now, Jeremy, just just to clarify, yeah. when you say let's not talk each other over each other, do you also mean let's not play musical instruments? Well, like I didn't other? say that. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly didn't say anything about infomercials. guys in recorder D You've been listening to Bear Friend Team, the world's only and most interminable podcast. You can find us on iTunes and at www.flowersofdisgust.com If you enjoyed tonight's program, why not send us an email? BearFriendTeaParty at AOL.com Or call us 503-754-8096 We're also on Twitter at BRFRNDTPRTY Remember, we're still offering 20 good American dollars for the first listener to call or write in anytime. She's got a smile and it seems to me Reminds me of childhood memories And if I dare too long I'd probably break down and cry Takes me away to a special place.
And if I stay too long I'll probably break down And I'll cry Does anybody know the chords to the whoa, next part? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, no, it's not that. It's It'd be, uh, I don't know, whoa, minor? Whoa, yeah. Whoa, 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 sweet child of mine. Say, whoa, 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 sweet love of mine. Hey, why not treat yourself to another fine podcast from the Cat of Nine Tales Media Empire? Attitude adjustment in which Jay Mullis and Jay Gibson discuss the 8 bit Nintendo game, Beats with Attitude. High on the Cow, about eating well in Kansas City. Why the Long Face, I got it now. a podcast by horses, for horses, and about horses. And Vodka and Villain, in which Tulula, Roxy, and Dominique get drunk and complain about shit. Child, I hide and pray for the thunder and the rain that quietly pass me by. I said, Whoa. No, it was pretty sweet. That is a terrible It was pretty song. sweet. Hey, Cheryl Crow, eat your heart out.